What makes a good news story? How should the story be told? And most importantly, why should someone care that an event is happening? At One Des Moines High School, they're answering those questions and won a national award for their efforts. Hello, I'm Alexis Andrews, and welcome to The Spotlight. The Challenger is a student newspaper at Hoover High School. Earlier this year, the publication won the George Gallup Award, which is the highest honor from the Quill and Squirrel Society, an international honorary society for high school journalists. Now, winning this award was no small task. The staff works hard to put out a quality paper, so we stopped by to take a look at what goes into creating an award-winning high school paper. I'm Tim Pilcher. I'm the Publications Advisor here at Hoover High School in Des Moines. The Challenger, which is our, which is our high school newspaper, won what is called the George Gallup Award. Uh, it's the highest honor that's given by the Quill and Scroll Society, and the Quill and Scroll Society is the International Honorary Society for High School Journalists. As you can see, there's a lot less time to do this um, issue. My name is Edward Rodriguez. I'm a senior at Hoover High School and I'm the editor of the Hoover Challenger. What's going to be required of you guys is for you on your own time to work on this issue. We currently come out every two weeks. Um, it's a newspaper for Hoover High School. Um, it's, it's geared to the students and faculty of our school. It's entirely student run, so all of us, we write the articles, um, we decide what articles are going to go into it, we take our photos. Um, everything that's, that goes into the paper, it's done by students. Pretty much like a real newsroom. Um, back when I was a reporter and then ultimately became a high school teacher, I always said, I want this to have the feel of a real newsroom. Health slash lifestyle story idea. So they, they start the process like any newsroom might. They have a, a, a day or a half a day where they sit down and, and brainstorm story ideas. Everybody brings about six to eight ideas to the table. The, everything is a good idea up until it gets thrown out in front of everybody and they discuss the relative merits of is this interesting, does it apply to Hoover, does it have all the news elements we look at, timeliness and conflict and drama and proximity and all of that. I have something. Okay, um, dieting and is it healthy for teens and when it can become dangerous? Uh, from there the ideas are decided upon and assigned to the pages and then from there the page editors start to take over. Uh, they make sure that the reporters understand who they're interviewing, what they're doing. Reporters come up with their list of sources. Um, reporters come up with an idea of how to package the story. I'm a, I'm a real advocate of packaging, not just telling it in words of the story, but also giving uh, supplemental information within the paper. If you have any questions, come ask me. I'm going to go type this up for you guys. We have to work as, as a team. Um, and that's difficult sometimes. Everyone on staff is responsible for making their deadlines and um, likewise, we're all responsible for each other. If one person fails, then we all fail. Um, so it's, it's difficult working with everybody, but it's also a lot of uh, fun, a lot of reward for that too. Is there a second to that story? Pat Hawks is a former editor-in-chief of the Hoover Challenger and he came up to me and contacted me about creating a website for the Challenger and I thought that was really cool so um, over two summers ago, so two years ago, we got together and we started discussing different ideas for the website and we created it. Physical paper is a lot more rewarding but the web is a lot more important because that's where people will mostly go to get their information and it's the best way for us to get our name out there and for people to read our content. Often people will say that newspapers are dying. I don't think that's necessarily the case. I think that how they deliver content will change um, will the actual physical paper part of it ever go away? I don't think so. I think people like that tactile feel of being able to open something up. Um, in terms of the information they deliver and how that's presented, it'll become much different. We already have a, a website that, um, that they work on. They supply content. Um, Edward, the editor, does most of the organization and things like that. Reporters have to do the same. They have to blog. They have to. And if you look at a lot of professional papers, that's pretty much the case with them as well. It's like the style thing. The difference between its ITS and its IT apostrophe S. My philosophy, coupled with Scholastic Press Law in the state of Iowa, um, pretty much designates me as an advisor. Now, that doesn't mean that I won't step in if I see a, a serious issue arise, but for the most part, I think it's important for them to understand the responsibility that it is their publication, 
Um, they need to make the decisions and I'm a firm believer that if you give the students the opportunity that they'll step up to that challenge. Uh, certainly I oversee what they do, but I try to make sure that any of the, any of the editorial content decisions, distribution decisions, uh, advertising, staff manuals, things like that are fully developed by them. They, they then get an idea of what the real world is like. Classes like this teach students more real skills. We talk about the district ends for Des Moines Public Schools. We talk about the uh, Iowa Model Core curriculum and the 21st century skills that are necessary. Uh, a newspaper and or journalism and or yearbook class provides almost all of those skills. We all really care about the newspaper and, and how it looks and we put a lot of work into, into everything about it, the writing, the design, um, and we create a product that we think people like. Um, and what's more important is the, the skills that we're gaining from being a part of the newspaper. Um, we're not just putting out a paper, but we're becoming better students, better people, better reporters. Future plans for the paper are to continue to expand their website offerings and trying more mobile reporting techniques. They hope to expand beyond the pad of paper by using iPods, iPhones, and other mobile devices in the future. But for now, they'll keep doing what they do best, telling the stories of the students at Hoover High School. For now, I'm Alexis Andrews. Thanks for watching.